We're doing a review and tutorial of PicMaker. It's an up and coming online graphic design software. Now, if you are on the fence trying to figure out if this is the right graphic design software for you, be sure to watch this video. Feel free to skip chapters, but make sure to watch until the end if you want access to my free bonus I created for all of you. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so let's get started with this PicMaker review and demo. Uh, their homepage looks pretty eye-catchy. They have tons of different uh, graphics that you can use for basically any type of social media or online visuals that you need to create for yourself or for your business. And they also claim that they are the world's shortest way to create a design. So let's see whether or not that's really true. So when you log in, uh, you are greeted with the dashboard. Now, if you've used Canva before, you will be very, very familiar with this layout. Uh, you can create a design for basically any type of social media graphic design, web design uh, project you want. So YouTube, logos, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp. You can create presentations, posters, flyers, Facebook, Twitter, uh, your blog, uh, Google, brochures, cards, every single thing that you need, digital and also physical as well. So your creativity can really just fly through the roof and create anything that you want. Okay, so you have uh, your recent projects as you scroll, and then as you scroll, you can see different designs for different uh, dimensions. So YouTube thumbnail, logo, uh, banner, Instagram, so on and so forth. And on the left, uh, you have the main create button. So this is where um, you can start creating and recommended for you, which is what we are on right now. And your designs that you've created in the, in the past are right here and also um, shared with me. So if you have a team, uh, you'll be able to um, invite people, uh, share your projects and things like that. And any team member that wants to share uh, a graphic with you, it'll be listed here. And then you also have the brand kit. All right, so if you have a brand or if you have clients, uh, you can add their logo, brand color, their font, and also templates that you've created as well. And you also have workspaces, okay? So a workspace for different uh, projects, and you can invite, you can invite your team um, to your workspace, all right? And on the top right, uh, if you click on this gear icon, uh, you can switch different to different workspaces. Uh, so for different projects, clients, uh, brands that you have. And that's basically all there is to the overall uh, main uh, layout here. All right, so when you click on create, um, like I said, you can choose any type of dimension you want for digital and physical products. Now, if I click on recommended for you, um, I am going to want to create a YouTube thumbnail, okay? So if I click on see all, it'll list out all of the different uh, templates that are available to me. So honestly, I've used tons of different graphic design softwares um, in the past, and I can tell you that some tools have better designs than others. PicMaker actually has some pretty good designs. I've seen a lot of these templates actually before on some very trendy YouTube videos, uh, social media posts. I've seen some very, very similar templates. So I know that these templates are used by other people and, and a lot of them are pretty trendy. So um, you won't have any problems trying to find a really good design. Okay, so um, for the sake of this video, I actually want to create a YouTube thumbnail uh, for this video. So I'm gonna go back and I'm going to scroll to my recent projects. So I started with this, uh, this template and I made some tweaks to it already. Um, just for the sake of this video, I kind of started off with the template already. So um, 
so yeah, you can um, you know file to go back to your dashboard, create a new design, make a copy, save it as a template, and then you can also resize it as well to any type of dimension you want, and you can rename it um, over here, okay? And then um, on the left, you can uh, review and select any different template you want. And now these are all the YouTube templates. And then for photos, uh, you have access to hundreds of thousands of different photos. And I really like how you can go through it by category. So by trending, COVID, natural, happy children, wander, minimalistic. So this is something that I haven't seen in another graphic design software out there. Of course, a lot of them do have similar images, but the way in which they bucket things into different categories is actually really, really good, okay? And then you can search image too. So maybe blue, if I search blue, uh, you'll be able to see all of the blue images uh, that the tool has. And then you can also filter by free and premium as well. Now for objects, I really like how they categorize their objects as well. So you can view icons, gradient, shape, frames, shapes, grids, uh, so on and so forth. So anything to really make your image stand out, you can add different uh, objects to your image to really uh, put your message across, right? Now, you can also click on text. So very, very similar layout to Canva if you've used Canva before. So you can add a heading, subheading, uh, body text, add a bullet, and then they have their pre-made text layouts right here. And you can also uh, remove your or add a background, okay? So I really like how they organize their backgrounds as well. So photo backgrounds, gradients, patterns, abstract, uh, so on and so forth. You have um, all different minimalistic, uh, eye-catchy backgrounds um, in the background uh, toggle right here. And then you can upload as well. Um, you can create multiple folders for different projects, different clients, and then you also have apps. So right now they are limited to just two, which is uh, Pexels, Pixabay, and then coming soon are Google Drive and Dropbox. Okay, so now let's, oh yeah, and also another thing that I wanted to share with you is their MAD feature. So MAD is their AI um, their AI feature, which will basically change anything about the design. So if you are like me, sometimes I don't have the best eye. Sometimes I'm lazy to figure out what colors to combine together, um, how to remix it, how to tweak it to make it really eye catchy. Well, this tool can do it for you. So you can change the fonts. It'll generate different fonts for this specific tool, okay? So if you click on it, um, it'll change it. Click on it again, it'll change it, all right? And then you can undo it. And uh, you can also change the colors. So however you want to change it, it'll figure out the best combination for you. And you can also change out the images too, okay? So if you wanna switch out different stock photos, you can do that, and then it'll switch out the stock photos for you. Okay, and then you can also mad all, which will basically change every single element of the, the, the template. All right, so really cool if you just want to just get your juices flowing, your creative juices flowing, uh, try to mix things up a little bit. This is an excellent way you can do that. Okay, so as you see here, I put a screenshot of the PicMaker, um, you know, uh, project editor review and demo, and what I'm going to do is upload um, my, uh, my portrait here, and I'm going to flip it. Now, this honestly is the process that I follow for basically almost all of my YouTube uh, videos, so make sure to um, you know check those, those out. So I like to kind of increase the brightness contrast a little bit, and also the saturation just to make my face pop and then you can edit it however you want to, okay? And then you can also reset. Now, what I want to do is uh, zoom out just so I could get a high-level overview, um, make myself a little bit bigger. Um, 
I think like that's good. And then I'm gonna do that. Okay, I think that's good. And then I do have review and demo, and I also want to add the PicMaker logo. I'm gonna do it right there. And I think you can group things as well. So this is an entire group. So I'm going to just move that just a little bit lower so the logo has some space to breathe. Make that a little bit smaller. And I really like how it has the grids, right? So you can kind of stick it to different parts of the actual um, image, right? So I think that's good. And yeah, you can change everything around, you can ungroup things, you can arrange things, make things duplicate, lock things, and of course delete things too. And also you can change the different uh, fonts. So you have access to hundreds of different fonts, and then you can also upload your own fonts as well. And I really like how you can preview how the font looks like, right? And you can change uh, the size, change the colors, bold, italics, basically everything you need, right, to make your, your text look really good. Also, this has effects, which I really like. So very similar to Canva if you've used that before. So you can change the effects of it. So you can add maybe some lift, make things look hollow. I kind of like that. You can add a shadow, and then, you know, you can add a different color, right, just to make things pop a little bit more. And you can even do like a lift, like I just showed you, glitch, uh, splice. So if you are all about creating the best looking typography, um, I think this tool uh, can really do that for you. And you can change the effects basically for every single object or any single text that you want, okay? And I think that looks good. And then now what you can do is either share it or download. So I wanna click on download and then you can just download it and you can choose between uh, three different options, PNG, JPEG, or PDF, okay? And let me click that. And then you can also do a transparent background. So if you are creating logos, uh, you can click on transparent background to download the logo and, and things like that. And uh, you can go back, you can present things, and then you can also publish on either Facebook and Twitter if you want to. And uh, yeah, that's basically how everything kind of works out. Uh, you can change things like this as well. And yeah, this is very, very easy to use. And there aren't really too many bugs. Uh, it's very, very simple. The, the learning curve was actually really, really quick, I think. So this is how it is. And then you can, of course, duplicate and then add a slide as well if you want to. So um, if this tool interests you, uh, as of this recording, they actually are on a lifetime deal with AppSumo. So you can actually actually purchase this tool um, at starting at $69 for a one-time fee. So here is what I think about the AppSumo deal. So there's three tiers. First tier is um, one user, 50 premium stock image credits per month, 30 gigabytes, as you go to the tier, second tier, it increases your users, increases your stock images, your storage limit, and it unlocks team collaboration. And then the third tier is uh, five users, increases your stock photos, your storage limit, and you can do up to tier five. So tier five just increases everything, all right? So if you are just a solopreneur, I think tier one is good. Um, honestly, uh, yeah, if you if you just work by yourself, just get the tier one. Don't worry about tier two or above because honestly, you don't need the team collaboration or additional users. But if you are kind of like an agency or if you work with different clients or if you work with a team or a, a VAs, then you may want to consider tier two or above. But honestly, for me, I think I'm just going to stick with tier one. And this gives you access to the pro plan. So it is matched to the pro plan, which is good to see because sometimes AppSumo doesn't tie you to a um, to to one of their, their plans. But this one is tied to the pro plan. Now, as a thank you 
all right, since you've reached it all the way until the end. I actually um, did a lot of uh, digging to just find uh, what are the best alternatives to Photoshop's for digital entrepreneurs. As you know, there's tons of different online graphic design tools out there. So I created the 17 best um, alternatives to Photoshop. All right, so I listed out the tools, a short description, and also a little bit about their pricing. So this list has paid and free tools. So if you want access to this free checklist, uh, just click the link in the description. And um, all you do is just put in your first name and your email, and I'll immediately send you this free checklist of the 17 best Photoshop alternatives for digital entrepreneurs. All right, so um, with that said, hope you enjoyed this and you got some value out of it. And I will see you all in the next video. All right, if you wanna learn even more about PicMaker, be sure to click on this video to watch a head-to-head -head match between PicMaker and Glorify. Um, Glorify is another online uh, graphic design creator. And click on this video to learn about my top favorite features of PicMaker. All right, I'll see you in the next one.